Welcome back. We're here at the Lake Sunapee Region Chamber of Commerce's booth right on Main Street in New London. And joining me now is Chamber Member Mike Gelchis. He's the president of the Elkins Fish and Game Club. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Lynn. for joining us. Thanks for having me. Tell us about the club and a little bit about its history. Well, we were established back in 1894. Wow. So we're very proud to be New Hampshire's oldest continuously operating fish and game club. Those are good bragging rights. Terrific. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrific. And we have uh, quite a nice history in the area. Mm. And uh, we try to do the best we can as part of our charter to pass along information to the youth in the area. So we're focused on that mainly. A lot of gray hair in the uh, club and we like to see the kids get involved in a lot of our activities. So we like to promote archery, fishing, hunting, the shooting sports. We get into a lot of conservation issues. Great. Trying to preserve the uh, lakes and streams in the area. Mm -hmm. So we, we do a lot of things in, the, uh, in this particular area to try to help promote all outdoor activities and try to keep everybody aware of the, uh, the outdoor sports, especially the kids. Absolutely. Well, if you live here, you've probably moved here because you like the outdoors. I'm from so. New Jersey originally, okay. so I uh, came up here about uh, 10 years ago and uh -huh. love it up here. You haven't left since. No. Yeah. And it's great to get the kids off the couch, you know, get them outside enjoying what's around them. Um, I want to mention your scholarship program because that is really a wonderful part of your mission. It's a big thing. We send kids to Barry Conservation Camp every year. Mm -hmm. And as part of that, we also sponsor the Coyote Den Cabin at mm -hmm. Barry Conservation Camp. And it's a great program that they run. Mm -hmm. uh, Barry Conservation Camp is something that's uh, run by New Hampshire Fish and Game mm -hmm. and also the UNH Cooperative along with 4-H. Yeah. They have uh, probably um, six or eight different uh, programs that they offer for kids. It starts in late June, runs through beginning of August, and they send kids up there and they just have a tremendous time. It's a beautiful, beautiful camp. Yeah. It really is. We were just up there uh, taking a look at our cabin to see what kind of shape it's in. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be better. They do a beautiful job up there. It's, it's terrific, and uh, the kids really enjoy it. That's a wonderful thing you do. Well, tell us, fall is a nice busy time for the Fish and Game Club, so tell us about some of the events coming up. Well, coming up in September, which will be uh, Saturday the 20th of September, we have a free event. It's an introduction to firearms. And what okay. we're trying to do with that course is to have people come in mm -hmm. who are not familiar with firearms, mm -hmm. learn some safety, learn proper pr procedures and techniques and handling firearms. Mm -hmm. We get them to shoot a little bit, they have some fun, they learn how the, uh, the procedure works, what they need to have, equipment. We provide everything, yep. they just show up, we sign them up, they have a great time. It's a lot of fun, that's sure. in September. And mm -hmm. then in October, on October 4th, we're having a ladies only event. It's an NRA basic pistol and like ladies that. come out. Oh, it's a great thing. Take and again, some of the intimidation out of it, I think having it be all women. Mm -hmm. Well, it is. It's, uh, it's a type of thing that uh, we'd like to do. We've had the class run several times already mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. This will probably be the last one for the year because of the weather, right. because we have an outdoor range. But it's a terrific item for people to come out to. The ladies love it. And uh, we never have a shortage of women who want to sign up for this. And it's a nice thing to see. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, tell me, is the, is the whole firearm different for a woman than it would be for a man, the size, etc.? No. Actually, firearms in general should be uh, geared towards the person, what their intent uh, for okay. use and, and so forth. Uh, a lot of times uh, you have a situation where a woman might go into a shop and they think, well, gee whiz, I need a small little something. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it really doesn't fit what, the, what they would need if they wanted to do target shooting or, or uh, have some firearm at home. Mm -hmm. So this way they can come out, they learn, right. they get to see different types of firearms, mm -hmm. how they feel, how they work, what best fits their needs. And it, it's a very good class. That sounds great. Sounds like I need to go if I'm asking questions like that. <laughs> now, you came off a very successful Lake-a-thon this year in June. Um, talk a little bit about that. That's your biggest event. 
Well, Lakeathon is our big sponsorship mm -hmm. event. Uh, we try to pull in uh, quite a bit of money there so we right. can sponsor the kids that go to Barry. Exactly. And we've been very fortunate in that a lot of the local businesses have been very generous to us and they've sponsored our event, helped us to pay for a lot of the advertising and a lot of the things that we needed to get. Mm -hmm. We hold it at uh, Sunapee Harbor mm -hmm. in the uh, tail end of June. So next year will be our third annual Lakeathon, mm -hmm. and we were able to generate enough money to uh, not only send kids to camp, but also help to maintain the camp itself. Camp is great. It's important to get the kids out there in the in the summertime. So, well, great. Well, you're busy as a beaver. That's just super. So, and <laughs> thank are. you so much, so much bringing with education, lectures, um, your scholarship, and the conservation end of the club is terrific too. So we wish you a very good fall season. Um, we'll point out to our audience that your website is a terrific source of information, which is where I got a lot of mine, and you're also on Facebook. We are. So super. Okay, Mike, thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. You're welcome. Take care. You too. Check out more videos from the Kearsarge Chronicle here. And don't forget to click subscribe to keep up with everything going on in the Kearsarge Lake Sunapee region.